put a few small changes in your everyday life. Make you rich. Okay, now that I have your attention. <laughs> That's the idea of a book, yeah. uh, of an interview that Jen did with the author, too, a money guru about things that you can do to make your dreams come true. Do tell. Yeah, this is one of the best-selling authors. So we, we've been talking about how he's got this book out, The Latte Factor by David Bach, where uh, we talked about he has three secrets to financial freedom. His first secret we already told you about. Thank you. Pay yourself first, meaning... You want to contribute to your 401k, get that auto set up. His second secret is don't budget. Don't sit around trying to make yourself budgets that drive you crazy. Find ways to make that budgeting automatic. The second thing you say is make this automatic. Your money's pulled out of your paycheck before you can touch it. And it happens without you thinking about it. That's why when you look at the average American who's become a millionaire, by the time they reach 60, They've done it by using their retirement account at work. And unfortunately, the biggest decision we make, financially, almost always, is that little decision that we only make once. How much am I going to put in my 401k plan? And you can change that. When you say autopilot, it's not just your 401k. It could be saying, hey, I'm going to set up a checking account that says this is for me moving to Italy. Well, it's automatically saving for anything you want to do in life. So if you've got kids going to college, it's automatically saving for college. If you want to take a dream trip to Italy, it's automatically saving money into a dream account. It's 401k saving style for everything. Anytime you automate your financial life, your financial life will work. To so many people, budgeting and saving, even though it sounds so simple, to them sounds like living strictly, being austere, not having anything. You can live rich now. It's not just about putting money away for the future. But you have to make a conscious choice to live rich now. And the decisions that you make to have a, a rich life don't always involve money. So his best-selling book is The Latte Factor. I always think it's good to read these kind of books just because it, it just gets you in the mindset to think about saving a little bit more. But why did he pick our lattes? We'll talk about that later. Okay. Jen, I like my lattes. <laughs> Thank you.